All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about discovery education. So from the Pile homepage, you're going to go to the Media Center page. And then from there to our online resources tab. Um, and you can access discovery education right here from our link. There's a new login process this year that involves going through your Google account. So please use your Chrome browser. It will ask you to log into Google. Once you've done so, you will come to the discovery education homepage right here. So most of us want to go almost immediately to search. Uh, my sample search here is going to be for plants. And I want to make sure you understand how to look at the search results. Um, there is a way to band it for grade level. We are six through eight, so let's go there. And then from there, you get all the content available in regards to plants. If you just want to look at videos, you can just look at videos and then even filter down further. For example, if you need closed captions, um, it will limit your results even further there. Judge by the duration, anything you need. Um, but there are other contents here on Discovery Education, including boards. These are assignment boards. I'll show you a little bit more about those in another video. There are images. Um, there's audio. There is text. Um, there are interactives, which can be anything from how to build a plant or breeding pea plants, where students can actually go ahead and um, do that kind of experiment on their own. Um, also in the search results, you will see lesson materials. From the lesson materials, um, if you want to look at that, it's a content collection, so plants and photosynthesis. What it has is articles. It has all the videos that regards, in regards to plants and photosynthesis. And then it also has starter lessons, which is basically lesson plans and resources and activities um, to get you started on a unit in regards to plants and photosynthesis. So that's a quick how to see your results. Um, one of the other things that I think is very important from your results um, is if you have a video that you like, you can add it to your content. Um, and what that would do is basically bookmark it for you. So once you pick my content, you would add it and then you can get back to it through your content. So it's a way to bookmark your videos um, through here. Once you have it, you can even share it out. Um, that's a nice thing about any of the boards and videos. You can share, and what that will actually allow you to do is right here through social sharing, you can post it to your classroom straight from here. So if you wanna make an assignment where the students need to view the video, you can link it to the classroom straight from here. Um, you would just simply create the assignment, go through the process just like you would anything else, give it a title. You'll note that the icon here looks like the Google sign-in. That's just because it assumes that your student needs to log into Chrome. Um, it, it does work, I promise that. So you can just go ahead and assign it straight from here. Okay, and just to show you, it does open up right into your classroom. You can even go back and edit it if you need to. All right. Other things you can do is look at boards. I've saved a board here to my content. And this board allows you to kind of create an assignment or to borrow an assignment from another teacher. Um, you can share amongst a CAP or you can share um, throughout the school district. You can share throughout the entire Discovery Education community. And again, I'll talk to you more about creating these and to use them in another video. But in the meantime, if you have any questions about your account or how to access Discovery Education or other content that's available here, you can come talk to me down in the Media Center. Um, this is Ms. Knafel, and I hope you enjoy Discovery Education.